Welcome to this new Leathercraft Academy tutorial. Today I am going to show you how I use Adobe Illustrator to create templates for leather goods. Um, the leather good we are going to make uh, today is a very simple card holder. Uh, it has just three parts, two pockets and one body. The first open Adobe Illustrator and create a new document by typing command N or control N and I will call this document a uh, card holder and number of hardboards is going to be one because I don't have so many templates to draw size A4 is fine you can click OK make sure um, in your preferences um, the general units uh, units is set to millimeters or maybe inches if you are using inches but of course not in pixels or point of pickers all right so as a reference, I like to draw a credit card to know how the wallet will look, how the pockets are going to look like with the card inside and whether the card will fit or not in the wallet. Uh, so for a card, I will select the rounded rectangle tool and click one time and then I will enter the measurement. A credit card is 85 millimeters by 54 and for the corner radius I will leave it at 3 mm then hit OK so here we've got our credit card the pockets are gonna be 5 millimeter bigger on each side which makes them about 95 millimeter right so I will select the rectangle tool you can also hit the shortcut which is the M key and click once so for the width 95 the height I like to do something between 45 and 50 millimeters I will do 47 so here we've got a pocket uh, also, I like to make the inside of my object with not color so I can see through like that. Um, so that's my first pocket. I like to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, this straight edge is not so nice, so maybe we can do some nice little curve. And to do so, we'll use a pen tool. You can hit P on your keyboard. And we'll start from the corner. I'll draw one point. Another one on the same line. I will pull this handle. And then I will... I will stop here. You can see those little marks, this green cross. They mean I am in the middle of my rectangle. So I will click and not release the mouse button. I will pull on a 90 degree angle and to lock the angle you can press shift on your keyboard and like so. Then if you want to move any other point here you can use the direct selection tool can press A and using the arrow on my keyboard I'm gonna move this one a little bit to the left right V selection tool is V you can click once on the, the path and press out to duplicate this curve and I will mirror mirror it uh, so right click transform reflect and 
you want to reflect it on a vertical axis. So I will not touch anything, just hit OK. I will grab the curve by this point and make it intersect with the other one. OK, now I want to connect them together. So press A to select these two points and no, didn't work. Okay, just got these two points selected. Now I want to connect them. Connect selected endpoint. So now this curve is one curve and not two curves. Right. Okay, now I'm gonna use this curve to cut my rectangle and to make it look like the pockets I want. So I'm going on path finder and this is called divide. I'm using the divide tool. Now I'm clicking and deleting this. Now I've got mm, I got a pocket. Just one thing I want to change. I want the corners to be slightly rounded. Again, I am going to use the rounded rectangle tool and I will keep it at the corners are now set at 3mm. I'm going to keep that just draw a rectangle uh, like so. And then I'm going to select the whole the whole thing here and using again the divide pathfinder and I delete the extra little corners that are left and now hit V select two objects and I will combine them together by using this tool here boom that's one my pocket is ready. Okay, again using the Alt or Option key. Press it. I don't release it and move the pocket here. So I'm duplicating it. Um, I want to rotate it by 180 degrees. So you're, you're going to uh, transform, rotate. 180. Okay. I want the two pockets to be 35 millimeters from each other. Just because if they're close, too close from each other, uh, you won't be able to close your wallet. So, uh, you know, it needs to be around 35 millimeters. So I'm just using the rectangle tool and the width of the wallet is 95 and I want 35 for the height. Okay, that's just a guide that I am drawing now. I will move the other pocket on the line, the bottom line of the rectangle. Right. I can delete this now. Okay, now actually just one one part is missing, which is the body, the body of the wallet, the body of the wallet. I just need to select again the rounded rectangle tool and from the corner of this object I'm going down to the corner of the other pocket. And here got a pattern actually. I got my little template. I don't need the card anymore. What I can do to make it look a little bit nicer is to add the stitching. So to do so you need to go in object path and I think this is Offset, offset piles, uh, offset. So 
minus 2.5 mm is what you want maybe 3 mm you want your stitching to be in between 2.5 uh, up to 3 mm from the edge so and if you want to see how it looks before you hit ok you can actually hit this uh, the button here and see a preview so this is my stitching here well I will choose a dashed line dashed line 2.5 looks pretty okay for stitching I find so yeah I'll grab my logo if you have some logo or brand name you can also position it on your pocket like so okay if you want to center it with everything else just need to select all and then here got this horizontal align standard that's it a little bit a little bit down all right um what i need to do now is actually this is my main template that show me how the inside of a wallet looks when you have finished to stitch all the parts together i need templates to cut the leather that's very easy now we've got all the elements this is my pocket template so duplicate put it there and this is my body template here I will rotate it so it can fit in an A4 format move it right okay now you can hit uh, you can hit T to add some text so so for example this is gonna be leather card holder uh, pocket and this is obviously leather leather times two right then you can duplicate this here put it here and this is body leather time one there we go this is very simple template uh, but obviously you can do all kind of different templates for very difficult wallet also if you want to um, once you've done that um, you can print it uh, but make sure it is a hundred percent scale it is scale one when you print it because you've decided the, of the measurement in the software and when you print obviously you want the measurement to be the same that you've decided so just make sure scale 100 percent before you print in your printer software and what i like to do is to print it and then to glue it into cardboard and then I cut it with a knife, very simple. Uh, I have a more sophisticated way, sophisticated way is to send it to some laser cutting company and it can actually cut it in like, I don't know, some kind of plastic, mica or PVC material. So you will have like very durable uh, templates for your leather goods. I hope you enjoy this uh, little tutorial and if you have any question please ask me. Thank you.